Hello everyone, this is Odd Like. This video topic is Roller Bearing. Roller Bearing support and guide rotating or oscillating machine elements such as shafts, axles or wheels and transfer load between machine components. Ball bearing and roller bearing accomplishes the same objective but the real difference has to do with the contact surface between the bearing and drive. For ball bearing, the contact surface is single point. This creates inherent strength limit for the balls. On the other hand, roller bearings have an entire line of contact. Because of large contact area, it possesses the increased rigidity, stability and maximum load capacity. Cylindrical Roller Bearing These bearing features rollers that are longer than their diameter and can tolerate higher loads than ball bearings. It can carry heavy radial loads and can be able to use in high speed applications. They provide high precision and low friction and therefore enable high rotational speed while reducing noise, heat, energy consumption and wear. Spherical Roller Bearings It can carry heavy loads even when dealing with misalignment and soft deflection. They can be designed to have cylindrical or tapered bores for mounting with or without sleeve adapter. This bearing can handle axial loading in either direction as well as heavy shock loads. Many types of roller bearings are self-aligning and are easily able to overcome misalignment and mounting issues, cutting down maintenance, repair and labor needs. Tapered Roller Bearing It consists of an inner raise and outer raise, tapered rollers and a window cage which serves to hold the rollers in place. Generally, the inner race, the tapered rollers and the cage that form the cone are all in one piece that can be mounted separately from the outer ring. The tapered angle allows the tapered roller bearing to support large axial and radial loads in one direction. It is generally necessary to provide axial guidance in the other direction by opposing a second bearing. It is also the angle and the axis of the bearing which determine the ratio between the axial capacity and the radial capacity. The tapered roller bearing must be serviced. It must